15-foot tiger shark in Honolulu Bay. KITV4 Sunil Kabir spoke to the man about the encounter, which occurred on Sunday. We do want to warn you, some might find the images of his injuries disturbing. Kevin Conahay says the shark got a hold of his left leg, but couldn't bite down all the way because Conahay stuck his finger in the shark's nose to fend him off, and it worked. That shark may have been up to 15 feet long. I was like, shoot, I was like, oh man, this thing is going to come back and get me again. I just, a couple of seconds and waited and jumped back on the board and started paddling in and just thinking to myself, is this, bro, this is like a full-on dream? Is this real? Kanahe said the doctor told him if the shark completed the bite, he would have lost his leg. He lost part of his kneecap, tibia, femur, and some muscle tissue. His right hand was also sliced open. Conahay says he's looking at least a year before a full recovery. He said when he was paddling in, because it is a bit of a paddle, um, he said he was thinking to himself, oh no, what if I lose my leg? How am I going to surf? And he remembered uh, Mike Coots, who's from Kauai, who lost his leg to a shark. And he said, oh, um, you know, he got a prosthetic leg and he surfs, so I'll just do that too. So Community members have raised more than $52,000 to help Conahay's family with his medical expenses. He realized he didn't really shed any tears for the bite and the attack and the pain, you know, that followed, but... What brought tears to his eyes was was the amount of love and, you know, just caring from so many people that have, you know, shared their positive wishes. Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News.